They are a uh, fantastic YouTuber pair that runs the uh, tour company Rio for Fun. Right. And uh, you guys are going to be showing me some amazing places to eat here in Rio. We are in like a big food market in uh, what is this area called? It's called Laranjeiras. Laranjeiras, Laranjeiras okay. neighborhood. By yep. the way, welcome to Rio. Thank you. We are Thank so you. happy to have you here. <laughs> yeah. And let's explore this amazing yeah. market and see what is good to eat, right? É um soco na mente ou um petalhaço no dente de tojalado? É, beba saúde e beba mate, ó. Do you want to like beer iced tea or just half and half? Uh, I guess like half, half and half. half. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Oh, thank But you. This is uh, nosso, le lemonade. Lemonade. Ó, a maneira local que geralmente nós cariocas bebemos é meia meio, limonada e mate. That's for you, that's for oh, you. Oh, okay, sure, thank you. All right, let's have a first sip of this magic drink. Oh, that is really nice. Very nice. This is actually iced tea. Mm -hmm. so, But like you said, he mixed it with lemonade, right? With lemonade. Uh -huh. uh, they, some people do just beer, you know, like yeah. just iced tea. But then would it be super sweet? Yeah, kind of, but we usually mix it up, you know? Uh -huh. But you have the option just to have lemonade or just uh -huh. iced tea. Yeah. Uh, but we like to mix. Cool. That's the local way to do it. Mm. Ralph, I think you should start with the pastry, huh? It's classic. <laughs> no, pastry. usually when you go to like a street market like this one, it's kind of like mandatory you have the pastry, you know? Okay, so okay. So we, we have one now. Sure. You want to like uh, minced meat, cheese? Uh, what would you suggest? Uh, it depends, like, how about maybe Heart of Palms? What is that? Palmito. I've never had, had that, no, so okay. Alright. Here we All go. right. Heart of palm pastry. Heart of palm pastry. Yeah. So what is the what is the Brazilian name for this again? Pastel. 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 Oh. And the name of the flavor in Portuguese is called palmito. Palmito. Yeah, it's palmito. like palm of heart, right? Uh huh. Mm. There's cheese, right? No, heart of palm. Of yeah, it's a vegetable, right? But it almost feels almost like creamy in there, like almost. I, I think because of the the dough. Oh, that's really good. We are huge in Oprah. Oprah is like a big thing for Brazilians. Uh huh. Uh, we had like a huge African influence, so we mm. cook a lot of dishes with okra. Mm. That's the one we had. Heart of palm. Ooh, yeah. wow. It's a vegetable, right? It is a very yeah. Brazilian thing, you know? Uh -huh. A lot of foreigners, when they come to Brazil, they never had before. No, know? definitely not. Scarlet eggplant is also oh. very good. Baby pumpkins. Baby pumpkins, zucchini. <laughs> yeah, cute mushrooms, uh, yeah. cherry tomato. And most of it is grown uh, like here in Brazil and in stuff. Brazil, yeah, most, most of, of yeah, this. But we also is. have like some foreigner uh, fruits, you know, yeah. fruits from outside. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, obrigada. Canada. Canada. Toronto. Toronto, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had these since I was in Nepal, I think. Right. That's been a long time. So. So, guys, this is actually one of my favorite fruits that I don't think I have had 
since I was in India. I think it's custard apple in English. I'll have to ask uh, Guy what it is in uh, Portuguese. But it's this really interesting, like white, fleshy fruit, super sweet. Kind of has these black sort of seeds in the middle, and it is like custardy and delicious. I wish we had this in Canada. Like this is so delicious. You want a salt or a sweet? Ah, uh, sweet, I guess would be sweet, good. Right? Yeah. You want to like? Uh, why the one they usually have, Rafa? Coconut with with cheese? Yeah. Cheese with coconut, coconut with cheese. Huh? Mm-hmm. So wait, it's tapioca, coconut, and cheese no, inside. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, tapioca is the the dough, right? Uh huh. Out of the manioc. Uh huh. And then we have all the flavors like coconut, cheese, butter, oh. uh, turkey, pepperoni, banana, Nutella, guava. That's the tapioca flour, right? Uh huh. The, the manioc starch. Uh huh. Look, they're just grating the cheese mm -hmm. and the flour. Yeah. And they cook in a hot pan. Real. Wow. It's kind of like tapioca flake. Uh huh. Look, see? It's oh my like gosh. A pizza dough. Bom dia, tudo bom? bom dia. Eu sou o último da fila. É coco com queijo, tá? That is enormous. enormous. Holy moly. Enormous. But that's so weird because like in Canada when you say tapioca, it means like a tapioca pudding usually. Yeah, actually with the manioc, with the with the tapioca, we yeah. make like over 100 dishes, you know. Wow. So you had the tapioca pudding, you had the uh -huh. tapioca cake, you had the tapioca kind of like a pizza dough. Aí ali é a primeira vez provando tapioca, super eufórica. It's good, huh? I've never had anything like this yeah, before. Yeah, I, I like the mix of the salt and sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a good combination. Yeah. Yeah. And the cheese is nice. And at the same time, on the eggs, a little bit crispy. You see, they grab this part. Just. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, a very unique kind of dough. Yes. Very different texture. Yeah. Uh. Is Brazilian food spicy on a whole? Not or? really. Not yeah. really. Brazilian people don't like to eat spiced food. Uh huh. But we do have a lots of, uh, you know, seasonings. You know. Yeah. All the spices from India. You know. Yeah. Lots of Indian spices. Mm-hmm. Valeu, meu camarada. Valeu, valeu. Turmeric, uh, ginger. Yeah. Some and leaves. So a lot of people, uh, you were saying, actually come here for their grocery shopping, yeah. right? It's less expensive than a supermarket. And, and fresher. Yeah, and fresher. That's like, awesome. for example, here, if you come here to a bachelor shop, uh -huh. you can buy chicken hearts, chicken breast, chicken mm -hmm. breast, chicken heart. Wow. Let's learn a little bit, Lindão. I wanted to learn the Aí, solta na Globo aí que eu já sei até em Pátima Bernard. O que, que a Baiana tem? A Baiana tem. O que, que a Baiana tem? O que, que a Baiana tem? Aí, Dona Elica. Macapá, oi, caruru, bumbá, oi, perumbu, caioiô. Dona Elica, Salvador. Sim, você... What is this called again? A carajé. A carajé. A carajé is basically a croqueta made out of a black IP uh -huh. with the okra paste. Batapa, uh, it's kind of like a, you know, cream uh, with uh, cashew and peanuts, mm -hmm. salad and uh, shrimp. And he's uh, cooking right here, right now. Ooh. It's like a dough, you know. Look. Uh -huh. You make those big balls. Wow, that's so cool. That salad, it's kind of like the Brazilian uh, salsa, right? Mm -hmm. Like cilantro, oh. uh, tomato, Obrigada. onions. Whoa, that this is one definitely... This one I think you're going to love. I love that. Alright, so we got this dish that is definitely different than anything I've ever tried before. You just eat it like, like a sandwich. Just eat like, like a, a hamburger, something. yeah, okay, sandwich. Okay. Mm. Different, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the shrimp skins are actually very thin. You don't even really feel them. Yeah, this one is small one, you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like dry shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then you have the ochre paste. Yeah. We call karuru. Mm -hmm. And then we have batapa. It's kind of like a cream mm -hmm. made out of uh, peanuts. Mm -hmm. But it depends on the recipe, but usually they put peanuts. Quer tirar do fogo? O fogo tá gelado. Todos eles aí. Aqui, ó, tá mais gelado que aqui, ó. <laughs> Ice cold coconut. Yeah. This coconut is as big as my head, I think. <laughs> Let me give it a taste here. That is refreshing, guys. Especially on a day like today, where the last first two days when I got here were actually not that hot. But today, the sun is shining. It's definitely over plus 30. And and uh, I can feel myself getting sunburned, suntan, even with sunscreen on when I'm out in the sun too long. So I'm going to stay cool here with my coconuts. All right, and now we got something that is like a type of codfish balls or something. Kind of probably minced fish that is deep fried. Alright, okay. so first bite of the croquette codfish. Codfish. Uh -huh. Oh, it's hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> good? Oh, it's very good. I like the potato in there. Yes. The potato has this like richness to it. Like and sweetness like taste, right? Yeah. Love it. Same as the acarajé. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good to order uh, right after they finish frying. Yeah. So you can get like really hot and crispy croquette. Delicious. Love it. <laughs> We are full as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for this Thank you. amazing tour. I'm going to link these two uh, in the description because, guys, they not only have a YouTube channel, but they also have a tour company where they can take you around not only the delicious food sites of Rio, but all the different attractions. Yes. Highly recommend them, so I'll link them in the description. Make sure you check them out. But let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know what food you'd like to try if you come here to Rio, any of your favorites. And as always, I'm sending you lots of love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys. Bye.